I know, Larry, I don't turn it on. I don't. And I'll last, like, I don't know, part of the class, and I'm going to go shut it off. It's, 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 so, you guys look like you're sufficiently stretched from the jaw. We're going to start on the neck. And we'll go over your shoulder. Good morning. Catherine, my artist friend, took Tabata yesterday to the class we did. The one that you posted to show piece of work. Uh-huh. Oh, and I said, how did it go? I said, what was what was good, what was bad? She said, uh, she loved the shoulder push-ups and the Russian twist. Let's go left to right. And I won't quote her, just say she used a bad word about the uh, massive climbers. Probably the same one I used. Yeah. <laughs> Not out loud, I'm sure. Oh, no, I don't. And she felt good. So I, I invited her to stretch with us today and put up from the station. I should have uh, comment about that art. It was beautiful. Yes. Yeah, that was good. Up and down. I love it. I stared at it all yesterday for a good chunk of time. How big is it? It is 24 by 30 or 32. Yeah, it's a good size. Yeah, it's a good size. Was it watercolor? No, it's oil, I believe. It's super textured, lots of depth. Lots of happy colors. Lots of happy colors. And they fit the room really well. Do your double in front of it. Yeah. So. Hands up, just step back. Arms in the chin. Eric needs to bring some of her stained glass. Have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, my. I haven't seen it. We just finished the big sunflower. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I haven't. I haven't. I'm finished. No, 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 
was well before that. It's probably the second year we were open. It's not the first. No, uh, except for those people that are swimming in it right now. I can't see. <laughs> so, up and over. There's only ones that can use it. Switch those on. That takes a while. Yeah, it wasn't broken last time. They actually went through and did a, a now scheduled daily maintenance where they re did the drive and oh, really? removed and did a deep clean of all the pool surface and then empty and refill and re chemical. Yeah. I know, it probably really sounds for people like you that never swim in it. Yeah. I know. Big circles. I'm looking forward to the time you can bring Freya down and go swimming. Next week. They're going to start doing the family swimming. Well, they were going to open it up when we were in phase three. They were literally going to open it up the next week, and then we got knocked back down. So they halted it. So I'm assuming it'll be very soon. I'm not going to say next week, but yeah, yeah. when we go to phase three, yeah. it's coming in. First direction. Did you guys kind of have the phase oh, three, three plan in the drawer to, for next month so that you guys can release it for exercise classes and stuff? Yeah, I had a good meeting with uh, Paul yesterday, and then um, there'll be a fitness email coming out to the fitness people with stuff, and I'm supposed to reply with certain things. One was about the use of more space. Exactly. I think I was thrilled. Shoulders over hips. Yeah, there's so many people that want to come to classes and can. Or the ones that are canceled last minute so no one else can get in. Yeah. I'm guilty of one. You see my finger? Don't bring my cough out. That was phenomenal. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. But you're not the only other person in the room. Well, I'm absolutely sure. Because so I, I was saying, I'll bring a t shirt and call me next week, so I'll come Will you? Can it one of them be just because of Todd? Sick of that guy. Yep. Torture Todd. And switch directions. Most wonderful. All right, let's grab our straps. Grab just outside the shoulder width, up overhead, and pull those straight arms back as far as they will go. And bring it forward. Good. Then I want you to bring your grip in on your strap about six inches. Wherever you were, bring it back six inches more narrow and bring it back again. Good. From here, with those arms up, I want you to draw those elbows down while pushing out on the strap behind the head. And then from here, 
Pull those hands slightly back as much as you can. Oh, no. Ouch. Press out and do it again. Can we say ouch? Ah, yeah. 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 yeah, you can say ouch. Yeah. Absolutely. May I ask? You're stretching, have seen it. It's stretch time. But it's torture. Torture for a I don't know, what do you feel, have seen? Oh my gosh. My upper arms and my back. Well, you're back because you're leaning back like way too far right now. You're like this. I feel you like that. I feel like that. I feel like that. I feel like Oh, yeah. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. Good. Up above the head. And then we're going to go. Oh, side. Just side. Well, Hepsi, when you're pulling it down and back, you should feel that real deep through your chest, front shoulder, back area. What's that? Well, that's this stretch. I'm talking about the last stretch. Oh, the last stretch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a pet stretch, no. <laughs> ah, from here to this. And let the whole body rotate around. Let those knees stay relaxed, though. Don't get too much torque now that you did the joints. All right, back to center, and you're going to take that strap, pull one arm behind the head, and release it. Re-grab at the low back. Use that low hand to pull the high hand up, around the head. I heard the stretch in that one. <laughs> Just got dropped to moderate now. <laughs> now I'm in flight. Next question. <laughs> so you're holding your breath, is what you're saying. <laughs> All right. Let's take that high hand and pull up now so you can bring that low hand up your spine and under the shoulder blade and then relax that high arm over the front. <laughs> uh, you did not send me three seconds. Oh, okay. I have my cookbook. <laughs> I'll, I'll remember to do it. Sorry. I just happened to have the time set too. I almost messed up the last time because I think that I worked up and so they were right. Hand up. And up and down, but my amazing wife of 19 years um, is working at double tonight because they're paying 50 bucks extra an hour again. Hello. You can't answer it again. No, I can't. Did you enjoy the tips or the water? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Switch hands, and it was her sonic hair, not a water pick. Bring that low hand down, grab a hold of that strap, and pull down again. You weren't here for a camera, but for years, and I mean years, because Pepsi and I have known each other a while now. She uh, doesn't appreciate the gift exchange my life and I have for events. They're always not romantic enough, even though they're what we want and are practical. So Pepsi gives me a hard time all the time. So you've got a Sonic there? Two years ago, three years ago, I don't know, we got like a couple's Sonic Air pack, you know, because we've never had them and it was this thing. 
And I told Etsy, she's like, ah, and you did, you did not, Todd. You did not. Yeah. And for like half of the class, I got. Good. Let's bring that arm up now. Tuck that low hand up and under and bring it over. So you know how like you like flex your neck, you have all these little muscles that pop out. People like call it the neck sometimes. Those are scaly, and they're really thin fiber muscles that connect down on your clavicle. And sometimes they're like it's harshing. You ever have that? You can just put your finger on that little bit harshing and press in while you're pulling oh, away. No, 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 no. I'm serious. And it will help relieve that. It takes a ton of neck tension away. Hi, Matt. Hi, Alexis. Bring that hand up. And let's dry that back out. Up and down. If you have a new porter, he was here on Wednesday. His name is Eli. And what does a porter do? They keep your club spotless. Oh, oh, they're part of Okay. Mm -hmm. So they all work for Matt. So Matt's your main okay. supervisor. So you have Kevin and Alexis, and now you have Elon. Okay. And I heard the quarter line is going to be in front of the rest. I don't know why. Yeah, no, I get you. Re-grab at the back. They have a bunch of new staff members right now. It's about 60 people. We're going to grab hands close together. Pull those shoulder blades back. Punch those arms down so that rib cage lifts up. And pull the arms away. Too. You can see them start to grow. We have dark uh, hardwoods, and so all of a sudden, there's a little snowball going across our floor. Yeah. Take your strap, guys. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. Okay. I don't know why. Go ahead and grab our chair. So we're going to have it on our side. Remember, we want to just out of reach the back of that chair. So we can take our outside leg and step over, which should put it right back of the chair. And then we're going to push our hips straight back, keeping your spine straight and sitting back deep in those hips. So you feel it down that rear leg, all the way down the IT side, down the Achilles. I didn't even think about how I ended up this That's going to be the classes when we have gotten with snowstorm. <laughs> Dog with cut. Bring our hips back, forward, keeping those legs crossed. We bring our hands to the chair. 
tuck those hips underneath you so you're super tall and straight, and then lean your body weight onto that arm, and then into your hip as you sink it towards the chair. Good, push that hip back straight. Take the free hand out on the chair, bring yourself down, pick up that back leg, grab a holding shin if you can, shoe otherwise. Stand yourself back up straight, pull into that quadricep stretch. Oh yeah. Keegan's got his Vaccine shot next Friday. Nice. His first. Oh, Kate will be done on the 25th. It'll be his second. And he can have his first. Uh, good. Nice. Have his family done. How did he actually do? His second. Who? Your daughter. Your daughter. Who? Then they saw Who? Ashlyn. Ashlyn. Oh, okay. Chris, one you said Ashley. Uh, the second. Sorry. I know you're talking about. I. <laughs> uh, they played yesterday. And no thank you for asking. They uh, had a very costly error oh. in the fifth inning that cost them the lead. Bring that leg around to the front, pull it up above the knee, grab a hold of that shin, sit back into those hips. They battle back and tie it to bring the game to extra innings. And then they gave up a run in extra innings. Asher led off the bottom of the last inning, broke the single, got on, they sacrificed her in a second, and the next two girls shut up. Oh, that's kind of awesome. So we're not out of it. No, it's double in. It's double in. So they played today in 36 minutes, but now they cannot lose. They have to yeah. win three straight games to win their conference tournament. The number, we were number one seed. Bethany was number two. They also lost yesterday. Isn't it funny? Oh, yeah. Tournaments just. No guarantees. So we actually played Bethany, which who we should have been playing in the final game based on the rankings. <laughs> Better work your way to the love loser bracket. Yep. Good. Sit forward with that hip. We're going to bring that foot out and rotate that ankle to the side. Asha played really well yesterday. She was at second because their other girl's back, Kelsey, had short, and she was an absolute defensive loser. Heard a double play. Um, was one for three from the plate for the walk. Both of her hit and walk were when they actually needed her when they were down. She came up clutch, but they put in a girl in left field in the fifth inning as a defensive substitute. They took the girl out that was in there, put this other girl in, and with bases loaded, the girl hit a single out to left field, and she let the ball go really right between her legs, oh. and it cleared the bases and scored three runs. Oh. And that cost the lead, and then we just never really recovered that momentum. Good. Bring that ankle up. Let's switch that chair to the other side. Out of reach of that chair to start. Step the outside leg. Over, push those hips back. So you're deep into that rear hip. Down that leg. And I want her to come home, but not early this way. <laughs> But she is all done with the first year of college. She finished up on Wednesday. Oh, that's a great time. Yeah. When did she go back? August. When did she go back to school? Yeah, 
I don't know if she would. School won't start till September. Go ahead and bring those hips forward back up. Hand onto that chair, straighten that spine and hip load, lean onto the hand, then drop the hip in. I don't know when she'll have to be back. The school doesn't start till early September. But she may have to go back early if it's really fast. When is her normal season playing Right now. It is. They're playing their actual spring, normal season. Spring yeah. season. Okay. They get a fall ball. They're allowed to play 10 or 11 games in the fall. They usually will set up a thing. They did get to do that this year. So they had like some extra practice, but then now that got shut down uh, early November when the state went kind of nuts again. College of Saint Scholastica. It's in the loop, Minnesota. Oh, okay. Reach down, grab that bottom leg. Stand up into the quad stretch. Yes, she's a freshman in uh, in college. They're all sophomores. It's true. I know they're switching dorms to an apartment style dorm where they get their own kitchen and everything. So I don't know when they have to have stuff moved and what and what they can do. I know she's literally broken up her stuff into friends that are all taking like some home with them for her to oh, store really? over the summer. That's nice. She's got her job, she's gonna work for Papa. Her and her brother are going to work for Papa, so they can carpool. Bring that leg down and up. Sit back into those hips. Glory us. Karen, can I steal your feet mask? Can I steal your feet mask? I like it. I do. That's the one you ordered. Hips back underneath. Let's flip that chair around so the seat's facing. Good. Facing that chair, those hips squared up, and everybody wants to put up under it. So remember, we have this hip back and forth. We want to take those hips backwards and then our chest forward. So my spine is still straight. Don't slouch down to that leg. Tilt those hips back, chest forward. Get real deep into that hamstring. Keegan currently has 55 baseball games scheduled this summer. Already. Oh, my goodness. Is it how many leagues? Is that one league? So that's tournaments, minimum game in the tournament, you know, you guaranteed minimum. And they are also playing in the Puyallup League. So all the club teams join the Puyallup League and play against each other on the weeknights and then travel to the tournaments on the weekend. So that's minimum 55. Yeah, they're too tired to get in trouble. He's not even going to get in trouble anymore. They just sit and play on their phones with Xboxes and such. Let's bring those hips back underneath us, and we're going to open up. And again, that same idea, that hip forward back, we're going to take the hip back, and then tilt the entire upper torso towards the leg that's in the chair. You know, honestly, Greg, I wish my kids got in a little trouble. Well, you have to get in a little trouble. I always fear that they're going to go out into the real world and, and not have done anything, and then they snap at the wrong time in life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or going 
Yeah, my kids are always kind of trouble. I know. Yeah, and they are the greatest adults. Yeah, my dad's in trouble too. Different ages though. But you learn to value things too. When the last time left high school, the teacher, the, the media teacher said, my son said, I'm the last jock. And she goes, oh, thank God. <laughs> They're very successful adults. That's awesome. Good. Bring those hips back underneath you. We're going to take that foot on so we can square back up to our chair. And this time, step onto it. Grabbing a hold of the back. Turn that foot outward. Dropping straight down in. Then from here, tuck. Tuck those hips up and under, like flicking them up towards your belly button. As you try to straighten that leg out to get deep into that hip flexor. Oh. I, I just, I still laugh. I mean, you, I know Kevin, you for sure know all the sports you do too, but we have friends that like to like make plans like way out. Do you guys available June 16th? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I literally don't know. There's probably a tournament. There's probably something. I cannot commit to you that far out. Tomorrow I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Possibly Sunday. After that, it's up to the air. Good, just bring our hips back forward so we can step off of that chair and switch sides. Foot up, hips squared on, tilt those hips back, bring that chest forward. Good. Take the pressure off that hamstring. Rotate that bottom leg so those hips are open. Again, tilting those hips slightly back. Lean that upper body. That wasn't very often. <laughs> Pretty tight. Yeah. I don't know how much you guys follow the soccer or anything, but did you see what the Sounders, what cool thing they did the other night, the Wednesday night game? In the last few minutes of the game, their goalie 
wrenched his knee like that. And so he had to leave, but they'd already used all their substitutions. So even with injury, you're not allowed to bring another player in. So one of their defenders had to put the goalie uni on. So they're down a player on the field, but he had to go into goal. And he saved three shots on goal in the last three minutes to hold on to the win. Wow, that's a great story. It was really neat. I mean, I feel bad for Stephen Fry that he's hurt, but it was that's pretty awesome, amazing. Good, bring that hip back forward. Let's take that foot down. Again, facing that chair, step up on that chair, reach those hands forward, kick that foot out, drop down, tuck the hips, and push that leg back behind. Good, bring that foot And if you follow the Mariners, they're showing us just how awesome they always are, which is sarcasm. I think they lost five in a row and are looking pretty bad. Worst batting average in baseball. It's it's <laughs> we have the top rated, the number three prospect in all of baseball, Jared Kelnick. And he got called up yesterday. So they're saying all minor league players in the entire Organization, this guy's the third rate of that. So they called him up, put him in the lead opposition. Big fat. <laughs> Pick those hips up, push back. You can remember way back. Griffey's very first step back. Get a whole front. That's a nice video. Let's bring those hips back forward and flip our chair around. <coughs> we get to sit, man. We get to sit. That's wonderful. You know you did a good job stretching when sitting feels amazing. Right arm out, bring it across the chest. Pull it into the body. Oh, over the shots. I think it was the back end. Yeah. Do you remember what made this song famous? It was the Pitch Perfect movie. When Anna Kendrick comes out, does the whole cup thing where she plays yeah. the beat just on the plastic cup and sings the song. My daughter and her friend learned, memorized the whole cup thing and then performed the song at the talent show in whatever grade. Oh, wow. That's hard to do. Arm out, scoop around, grab finger, pull back off that straight arm and step. Oh, I have some pretty amazing talent show footage. Yeah. There's one that actually gets mad at me every single time I bring it up. <laughs> it was her very first talent show, and her friend wrote a, their own song called Friends Forever and sang it for the entire audience. This is her. Yeah, but it's like one of the, it's hilarious. It, she cannot stand it. It just came up in my memories like three weeks ago, I sent it to her, and she ignored me. We'll need to respond. Flip that hand over at the hand hang. Grab the back of the hand. Pull it back. That's why I'm really happy that they weren't. It wasn't social media. <laughs> Recording devices and reality. When I was when I was little. I'm actually really mad. One year when my dad was in the car industry at a Christmas party, he won. 
one of those VCR campers, the big ones, the big you know, when they were small first. This Hitachi, I remember the thing. This, and me and my friends made so many movies, but I don't have them. And I wish I still did. Go to relax it, Hank, because we had some, I would have loved this end of what we did the whole game. Opposite arm out, bring it across the body. I don't know what happened to him. I really don't. We did that. I lived in a two story house and we did this martial art movie. And we had drugged my dad outside um, below the window and filmed this epic fight scene in the house where the, the bad guy kicked the good guy out the window. And we actually did it. And he flew out on the bed, you know. Yeah. And then he off camera ran back in the house up the stairs and Hi -ya! come back in the camera. <laughs> oh, I surely wish I still had this. Jay used to go over to mom and dad's because they had a big giant VCR thing, you know, and uh, he'd make movies with his, his purse. Oh, and a little, little stop motion kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Bring that arm out, swing it back around to the palms up, grab those fingers, pull back in the forearm. And his degree of college is Oh, wow. Cool, cool, cool. Does he do that for her? No, he works for Amazon. And he's trying to get into that part of Amazon. So he volunteers for a lot of his yeah. stuff so that he can get grades. Release that hand, flip it over. Let it hang around the back of the hand, pull the hand. Giving him a thousand dollar bonus bond. Sign up bonus. Yeah. Well, Jay, Jay started in the distribution yeah. center. Yeah. He's working his way. Good. Does he like working for Amazon? Yeah. How long have you been there? They're virtual. I've had, like, I have some friends that still do it and love it. And I have friends that ran. Yeah, I said, um, Google bought it and said, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's. And the people I know were all like office, not like right. you know their house where they're all office. Some of them loved it, and others just going. He's a manager. He's a manager now. He yeah. probably doesn't like it because he likes yeah. this engineer thing. Grab those hands, lace those fingers, bring them in, flip them over, push them out, and then go back into your chair and up and over your chair, extend through the fingers and through that chest and back. Oof. Bye, Sunny Bunny. Bye. I bet it was. Uh, bring that all the way forward. Sit tall in your chair. Grab underneath your chair. Get a nice tight hold. And then lean away from the hand that's holding on until you feel your shoulder get pulled down and tight. Take your free arm up over your head to the opposite side and pull that ear away as well, down towards the shoulder. Ooh. Good. Relax the pressure on the head. Turn to face the arm. Now reach to the back side of the head and pull your chin down towards the shoulder. Still leaning away and opening up that trap. I pull down and slightly back a little bit diagonal pull to really open up along that neckline there.
Good, release your head and come back to center. And we're gonna switch hands, grab the hold. What? Okay, sorry, you might get buzzed on my watch. You guys can hear this too. Guess what amazing young lady just got named first team all region. That's awesome. Let's grab opposite side. Lean away. Good. Then we're going to reach that free arm up over the head. Pull the ear with it. Ooh. Yeah. First team all region. So what does that mean? She's best in her position in the entire conference, the entire region. So that's going to be multiple conferences. Well, they put a team together or did no, it's like a recognition. Wow, that's a wonderful recognition. So it's, there's a, only a singular recognition that's better, which is the player of the region, right? Only one player named that, but being on the first team is... As, as a freshman. As a freshman. Yeah, pretty And she's a leader. Uh, do you guys see, um, let's bring that head up, turn the chin. They just started a new women's professional fast pitch league, and they did the draft a couple days ago. And Sis Bates, she's the star shortstop for the UW Huskies, uh, graduating this year. And, and my daughter's idol, uh, she got drafted in the first round. She's amazing. She is definitely someone I was happy to know Ashley was modeling after. Talking about someone like it, she got picked up by UW, and they had an all-star shortstop already, so they put her in right field, and she proceeded to earn first team honors as a right fielder until that girl graduated, and she got to play her position and basically owned the entire planet from her position. She's amazing. All right, guys, let's just finish up with some quick leg work here. Hopefully that felt really good on the neck. Let's cross ankle over knee. How's your stretching going, Jim? It's going well. Good. I got a muscle. Good. <laughs> push, push hard in some of those, okay? Make it, make it squeal just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. It makes me squeal. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Jim just started working with me, and I was waiting to find out I'd offer him a spot next week, and that's why I was waiting. And luckily, he just responded, did once. So that's why I'm here to Rick and I'm glad we Good. Relax that. Scoop that knee up into your chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. Like a little bow. Keep into it. Just the one left. The other one? Not so Go ahead and relax that and a switch leg. I must have got my heart rate up reading that message because I shot up into like the high note. It's just now I'm coming back down. All on the right. No, as someone who was an athlete who did not even achieve the levels that Athlete has, though, I made it a point to not be a pusher. I wanted to only be a supporter and her decide how hard she wanted to work and how good she wanted to be. And to see what she's done and what she continues to do. And now, almost getting into that. Almost. 
the wind for the grand manager. <laughs> Let's reach around, pull that knee up to the chest. George Morris, who was the captain of the United States Equestrian Team, always said, Give me desire about the gallop. Yeah. Because yeah. when he um, when he did so, oh, he, I think he went to he wanted to get a swimming team and he couldn't even swim. And he had no desire. And so he got so many voices. But he always said, that, Give me desire about the gallop. My son is so keen in the field. He can't wait to climb around him. He's so talented. That's my youngest. He got to be 16 and he hung on the skates. Ugh. Well, that's three. Under, last stretch of the day, you got three. Under, actually, I'm not, that's not true. I'm going to stand up and pull down. Last stretch of the chair, how's that? Peavy does work hard and he's getting better, but Ashley gets really mad at it because he's so gifted and he just doesn't push as hard as. She pushes, and she wishes she had his talent to go along with her work ethic. Let us roll ourselves up. All right, chair out of the way. Quick pull down. We're ready to go to end. So at this point, Captain's going to lead us in back handsprings. So I'm going to turn this up. Oh, okay, we'll do my stretch. She doesn't want to show off anymore. Bring it down, scoop it up, take that breath into the lungs. Open up the ribs, really stretch out through the intercostals, through the sternum. Breathe it out. Open to the left. Rotating that spine. Exhale in. To the right. Exhale out. Up and over. Yeah. Back to the ground. One more time. Up. Out. Let's go right. In. Left. In. And over. Exhale out. Yeah. Woo! Let's have a stretch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go team. Guys, thanks for joining us. You're awesome. From everybody here to everybody there.